Hello everyone, this is Dr. Frills online class and I am about to discuss the respiratory system assessment and this video is intended to nursing students, registered nurses and some other professionals that uh, this can help them in assessing or in understanding how to assess a patient with a respiratory problem. So the parts of the discussion is uh, getting data through the use of nursing history taking tools and uh, physical assessment. So the content of this discussion was taken from a series of different authors of MS books and some pictures were taken from Google. So set back, relax, and learn from the discussion. And if you find it informative do like share and subscribe to my channel for you to be updated for the coming discussion okay let's start let me show you the <clears throat> respiratory picture of the respiratory system and if you could still remember the function what is the function of our respiratory system do you still remember okay so it is to exchange gases with the external environment so, ano-ano yung mga gases na yun? That is the oxygen and the carbon dioxide. Okay? So, the respiratory system maintains the level of these gases within a narrow range. Okay? So, regardless of the demands for oxygen and uh, the respiratory, uh, what do you call this? The, the respiration itself, which the central nervous system controls and is regulated by the uh, metabolic, metabolic demands and cardiac output. Okay. So here, if you still remember, these are the sounds and the possible disorders that may have. Right? So we will have it later. Okay, so we'll start with the nursing history. Okay, so the nurse asked the patient about the chief complaints. It's really that important. So the patient with a respiratory disorder may report the following signs and symptoms like chest pain, right? What else? Cough, orthopnea, uh, dys dysnea, orthopnea, what else? shortness of breath and wheezing and yeah and diba so the patient may also report hemoptysis so and what else increase sputum production or a change in the characteristics of the sputum so these are the possible chief complaints from our patient okay the next will be the present illness so, in here, the nurse will ask the patients about the present illness. So, ask the patient about his symptoms, including what? Including when it started. Uh, associated symptoms, location, duration, frequency, and precipitating and elevating factors. So, if the patient has dyspnea, so what to ask? Of course, we need to ask him to rate it on a scale of what? Uh, 0 to 10. Which is 0 means disnick. And 10 means the worst disnick experience. Okay? My disnick is patient. Pag sinabi niya, okay lang, di gaano, 0. Pag severe, yung dis niya na so it's 10 okay so if the patient has a orthopnea ask him how many pillows he uses to sleep okay or kung ganyan ba siya matulog or kung ilang pillow yung ginagamit na patient so what else so if the patient's cough is productive or non-productive so you may ask if it is really that productive so you can ask the caller Okay, if the cough is recent, 
So if it is not recent, how long it was experienced by the patient? At nag-change ba yan recently? Ayan, may narinig ba kayong nag-horn? Pasensya na, nasa labas ako. Okay. So, when the patient produces sputum, ask him to estimate the amount produced in teaspoon. Or another common measurement, ask him of what time of the day he cups the most. Gabi ba or umaga ba? Okay? Ask him about the color. Ano bang kulay meron yung plema na patient? Ganyan na ba siya kakulay? Kakulay niya na ba to? Or yellow-yellow uh, pa lang at medyo hindi pa siya gaanong green. Okay? So, dapat alamin talaga natin kung ano yung kulay ng sputum ni patient. And, you also need to ask the characteristics nung plema ni patient. At pwede din natin talongin Does he cough up blood? Yes or no? Okay? So if the patient has wheezing Ask uh, When the wheezing occurs When it started Okay? What makes the patient wheeze? Okay? Does he wheeze loudly enough For others to hear it? Or uh, What helps stops the wheezing? Okay, so yan, ask natin sa patient. What else? Okay, chest pain. So if the patient has chest pain, ask him where the pain is located. Saan banda dun sa chest niya? What it feels like? What characteristics it has? Okay, whether it moves or radiates? And how long it lasts? What causes it to occur? And what makes it better? Okay? So, dito din sa chest pain natin, anong kailangan din natin kunin? We need to ask the pain scale. Okay? Of course, 0 to 10. 10, with being no pain, and, ay, sorry, sorry. 0, no pain, 10, worst experience of pain. Okay? And what else in the present illness? Oh, how about the use of prescription and over-the-counter drugs? Is it prescribed by the doctor or binili lang niya over-the-counter? Okay? Or if the patient uses herbal medicines or her, her, herbal remedies, okay? Or the patient is taking vitamins or nutritional supplements, okay? Ano pa, kung meron pang mga complementary therapies na ginagamit sa patient. Those are the datas that we need to include in the present illness. Okay, next is, ayan, medical history. Okay, so in here, ask the patient about other respiratory disorders such as what? Allergies, asthma. Uh, cystic fibrosis, pneumonia, tuberculosis, and other respiratory tract infections. And you need also to ask the patient if he has undergone chest or lung surgery. Okay? So, those informations, ito sila. We need to ask the year, kailan yan. Kailan, oh, lalo na yung mga surgeries na patient, kailan naganap yung mga surgeries? Okay, pneumonia, kailan siya nagka-pneumonia? Okay? And, remember, as of now, we need to ask the patients for, if the patient have vaccination of this common COVID, right? Because nowadays, it's really that important. And, remember, you have just if you have just have a simple cough, but the people surrounds you may look at you as at uh, differently, so much different, right? Because maybe they think, hmm, may dala dala siyang virus, baka COVID na yan, di ba? Okay, so that's all for our medical history. Remember class, in taking the history, we really need to ask the patient, dig more, okay? Do it much better and deeper. Okay? So, wag mayang magtanong. What else? Family history. 
Okay, for the family history, the nurse then assess the family history by asking, for example, if the family has chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders or diseases, I mean, pneumonia, ano pa, tuberculosis, or merong lung cancer. Right? Ano pa? Parang may nakaligtang pa ako dito sa family history. Oh, we need also to determine if the family uh, has a history of lung cancer. Okay? Ayan. Okay. So, next. Social. Social history. What are the informations that we need to ask in social history? Okay? We need to ask if the patient smokes, right? Ask about smoking habits. What else? Environmental exposures. To what? To irritants. Diba? Like yung mga asbestos. Okay? Yung mga chemicals na mga sobrang matatapang. Okay? And you ask the patient about his tolerance for habawa, exercise. So, pwede natin siyang isama dito sa ating social history. Okay? So, we are done with the history taking. So, what's next? Uh, physical assessment. Start with in inspection. Okay. So, for the inspection, this is the fer very first um, physical assessment or pattern. Inspection first. So, observe the patient's general appearance. We need to note the patient's position. Is he sitting upright? Or leaning forward or like a tripod position. Okay? Observe natin. Then take note of what? Level of awareness and general appearance. Okay? Does he appear relaxed? Anxious? Anxious? And comfortable? Is he having trouble breathing? So, ayan. Observe natin yan. Okay? And what else? We need to note the deformities, masses, or scars dito sa chest. Tanibawa may scar siya dito. Okay? Or dito sa gitna. Right? Look for chest wall symmetry. Pantay ba? Pantay ba siya dito? Okay? Um, kung halimbawa si patient is at rest, pantay ba yung chest wall niya? Or kung si patient um, during inspiration, pantay ba? Okay? We need to note the anterior, posterior chest diameter also. And observe the chest wall movement. Okay? While breathing. Is it, uh, what is the term? Paradoxical or uneven. Yan. What else? We need to note the... Uh, tracheal deviation also, deviation. Look for spinal abnormalities. Okay? Ito normal. Okay? So, check natin kung ganyan ba? Or ganito? Okay? Ala, do you still remember those names, right? Scoliosis, lordosis, and kyphosis. Okay? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> then, we need to observe the patient. What else? Respiration. Okay? In here, we need to note the rate, the depth, the rhythm, and the uh, inspiratory and expiratory ratio. And look for the use of accessory muscle habang uh, nagbre-breath sa patient. Okay? Kung tumataas ba yung mga shoulders niya. Okay? Or kung merong bang uh, first lip breathing okay or kung meron bang nostril flaring ayan we need also to observe the color of the patient's skin lips mucous membrane and uh, <coughs> <coughs> mm, parang ako ang may ubo, ah. and nail beads okay we need to check for nail clubbings ayan so, any questions so far? If you have any question, you can uh, write in the comment section. Okay? Next is palpation. Ayan, nakita nyo naman, di ba? 
So, uh, the nurse uses palpation. So, we need to palpate the chest. For what? For the temperature. What else? Dryness. Uh, yung mga crepitus. At kung may pain. At yung tactile uh, frimitus. Ayan. And check din natin yung ano, respiratory excursion. Diba ito, ginawa na natin to before. Okay, ayan. Pagkasunod-sunod. So, dito sa pagpalpate, we need to observe kung may symmetry ba or hindi na sila pantay. Right? Ayan. <clears throat> so, next in... Next for palpation is percussion. Ayan. So, for the percussion, percuss the anterior and posterior chest, noting lang uh, boundaries and movement of the diaphragm. Ayan. We also uh, note, uh, during percussion, we also need to note the percussion sounds, right? Uh, that describes any abnormal uh, ones, including the location and size of the area. Next is auscultation. So, the nurse continues by auscultating the chest. Kung anong pattern sa dito sa front, sa posterior, same din dito sa ating anterior. Okay? So, we need to classify each sounds according to its intensity. Ato. Intensity, location, pitch, duration, and characteristics. Okay? We need to note whether the sound occurs during inhalation or during exhalation. Okay? And uh, auscultate also for the vocal frimitus. Okay? Noting itong mga, itong mga sounds na to. Okay? Bronchophony. Uh, ecophony. Pectoriliqui. Hinanap ko pa talaga kung paano ito i-pronounce. <laughs> Ayan. So, by the way, by next, uh, maybe in my next video, wait nyo yan ha. I will be recording a video about the different sounds. Okay? So, antayin nyo yun. Okay? So, I think this is the last, yung auscultation natin. Ayan. We are done. <clears throat> and... Because this is the end of my discussion, I want to say a simple note saying, be informed, be knowledgeable, okay? And again, if you find it informative, do share, like, and subscribe to my class in order to be updated for our next discussion. Okay, you may comment your suggestion, reaction, clarification, and topics you wanna be you want me to discuss in the coming uh, session okay and of course thank you for listening and bye bye for now